load scenery, scene selection. Well, the only thing we can do is new new story. So start as Joe. <laughs> Joe, Mama. Joe or Charlie? What? What's the difference? Um, which character dies first? <laughs> oh, really? Whichever one I pick is doomed to die. Yeah, in the prologue, all characters are doomed to die, so it doesn't so, really matter. Oh, really? It doesn't. I guess I'll just pick. Charlie sounds interesting. And I guess you're stuck with Joe. Fine by me. Hey, yo, 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 have you seen Joe? Have you seen Joe? <gasps> Joe, uh, Joe who? Joe Mama! <laughs> ah! It dies, the mic dies. Just, ah! Mike dies immediately afterwards. <laughs> just makes a Joe Mama joke and I just get eviscerated. <laughs> oh! Ah! Hey, yo, 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 guys, have you seen Joe? Have you seen Joe? <gasps> Who's Joe? My uncle, have you seen him? No, I'm so sorry. He's been missing for a while now, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Just, everybody's like, shut the fuck up. But that one kid's actually looking for a guy named Joe. Oh, shit. Shut up, cat. Shut up. <laughs> okay, okay. You weren't even talking. God. That was... I couldn't even talk to you, I was just trying to mess with you. Shut up, watching the movie! <laughs> Shut up, I'm watching the movie! Yo, the fucking oh, wait. movie! Wait, I, I, rem I remember that guy. That look, guy, that guy looked familiar. From the fog. Yeah, um, they reuse character models. Ah, ah, okay, so there's no connection then. No, it's an anthology, so it's a bunch of stories within a series, but the stories do not connect. Ah, alright. So they can just reuse characters willy-nilly then? Yes. So, in Little Hope, you'll notice one character who appears in all games coming up. Catastrophe is Joe. Oh. Oh, so we're playing next to one another. Yes. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <clears throat> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks oh, like no. old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Oh, no. What are things? Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Heck yeah, I can fight. Oh, so what? You get a video game and I get to punch shit? Yeah. I get to watch you kick the shit out of something. Oh no, I find out my character's future. What? Doomed to die? Yeah, well, I, I already know what it is. He doesn't. Oh, I gotta dodge now. Curious or dubious? Will I be rich? What about my what about my son? Punch. Punch. Dodge. Punch. Uh bamboo. Punch. Punch. Yes, I'm kind of a karate master, huh? No big deal. Karate master. Fish. Tell your friends about me, huh? Okay, pal. Spread some of that good fortune around. Sure. But I gotta try out Mr. Punch him up. Good luck. You uh, you got another quarter on you? What do I look like? A bank? Oh, I don't like this. Okay, old timer, what do I got coming my way? Come on, bitch, square up. Ah, uh, hopeful. Troubled. Wait. 
Think old Joe will ever make good on that 50 cents I just invested in him? <laughs> what does that mean? I just, I said the 50 cent question. Water tile or rooster tile? Water tile. Don't fucking patronize me, woman. What do you see in this tile? Well, that is a flower of some Blossom. sort. Awesome. Hope. Your fortune is sown deep in the earth. The only blossom of such a growth is evil. And blood is sure to come. We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. So I'm assuming had I been faster, I could have maybe asked another question. Yeah, but um, I finished the game too quick, so... <laughs> Well, screw you. My bad. I did pick it up close to the end. Did I interrupt one of your questions? Yeah, you did. <laughs> so I'm, assu I'm assuming if you, like, miserably fail on the punch it, you get to know all about that person's future, apparently. Yeah. It's noted. Next time we go through... I'm assuming you also get an achievement for royally screwing it up as well. Yes, you do. Noted. But she doesn't, you don't get like, they don't cut it short if you don't do anything, right? On the punch it? Uh, I don't believe so. So you could just wait for all the skill checks to run out to let the other one have fun at their fortune. Hey man? Yeah. Hey, where's my, where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Hey, come on, man. Hey. Off, Nobody pushes me around. My fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? My medical opinion. These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical room. Damn. Throw the other in the bridge. Ah, and enjoy prison, bitch. <laughs> well, screw you too. <laughs> I'm assuming if we weren't in a party, we would only hear each other when we're close together. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. No, you. Shit's bitching. Hella not. I'm in the brig. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Leaky, leaky zombies. Probably not. Man, I'm dead. Maybe I am right. Maybe that's zombies. <laughs> Why does every thing have to be damn zombies? Why did the dare key what happened to get fucked back up? Hey, what's up, Joe? What's up, Joe? Yo, what up, dude? Nah, they're drugging me, dude. Wait, that might. Yeah, I don't think that's you. Yeah, I think that's me. Sniper Stalker is Charlie, yeah, so you're currently watching the brig, probably. Because I'm oh. watching myself in sick bay. Yeah, explore the ship, search the brig, hey. wait for help. What's this? Hello? You, Icky, there's a corpse oh, in the cupboard. Arthur, pretty thief, day one. Or petty thief. Hey, don't go too fast. I got stuff to read. Small items belong to the singer. Found them in the yeah. Cover. No. Should we do a thing where, like, if we're reading something, we told the other person to hold on? Yeah, I, I'm in the middle of reading something. What a dick. Just let me know when you're done. Uh, 
David, trespass, two days break, ground off limits, cargo no reason to be there, flagrant disregard for orders. PF, loose brand, public intoxication one day, brief found drunk, acting appropriately for US personnel, on source leave. Uh, intoxicated. Charles Anderson, public intoxication, brawling, 10 days break. I wasn't even brawling, bro. <laughs> found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. personnel while on short leave. Uh, public intoxication. <laughs> Joseph Roberts. Yeah. All right, I'm putting it down. My son looks like Michael Sarah. What's this on the wall? Uh, there's blood on the wall. There's Honest there's a corpse in the fucking medical bay with me. Uh, maybe, I mean, honestly, maybe it might be better if we, oh, I'm reading. Uh, John, John, and that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of the manner of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken arrangement. Oh, shit, sorry. My bad. Joe, arrogant, reckless, selfish, impatient, generous. Oh, that's my stuff. Selfish, impatient, arrogant, selfish, impatient, generous, and reckless. It's secret. And I'm altruistic, insecure, selfish, and reckless. What does the mind and heart icons mean? Um, so basically every choice you make in the game is either, um, based on your, based on emotion or instinct. Instinct is the brain, emotion is the heart. And the more you choose of either one, the more it determines which icon you see most. Well, I see. And if you become neutral, I'm assuming. If you become, like, perfect neutral, I'm assuming something special happens. Yeah, basically, if you're, like, overly emotional in the game, you get, like, more t things will happen geared towards emotional aspect. If you're more in intuitive, instinctive, you'll be the brain, and then you get more things in custom to that. But if you're true, ne truly neutral, then you get stuff towards that as well. All right. As I was reading before you oh so impatiently paused, and that private Anderson, private Anderson was engaging in a soldier public brawl. The steps were taken to ensure both men were returned on the ship. Break ten days approved. Who's Anderson? Is that you by chance? Like your other name? Um, it could possibly be me. There's a safe here. My character's uh, name's Joey Anderson. Uh, Joe Anderson, I think. Yeah, there's a safe here. I couldn't open it, but not as of. Alright, I'm looking. I'm trying to look out the door here. Alright, I exhausted all my options. Oh, what's up? Hey, Charlie, how's your time off? Just get me Did out you of just find me? me? Yeah, I found you. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I'm assuming if we pause it, we also hear each other. Uh, wait. What's happening your way? Can we go back that way, or not? Yeah, if you want to, we can go, we can go back this way. Uh, wait, is if this you your way, or is this... A this way. way. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to head your way, but the movement system here is kind of clunky. Yeah, uh, it's like always make it a bit difficult. Alright, I'm right behind you. I'm assuming, like, did you find a code or something? No, uh, I broke the lock on the door. No, I mean, like, for a safe. Oh, uh, no, that safe doesn't open up until later on in the game, so don't worry about that. Oh, no spoilers, cat. <laughs> well, you wanted to know. Well, yeah, but I just wanted to know if you found a code or not. Oh, so I get to look at your stuff. And I'm assuming that... I have different interactions for your stuff than mine, so you could just go check out my room while I check out yours, and maybe there's. I, I don't know. I think I, yeah, we think we can split up. I don't know. I'd assuming it'd probably say something. Oh, why he look like that? You can't mess with him, can you? No, you can only look at him. Was that like a like move faster button? Uh, yeah, um, L1 makes you walk faster. L1, you said? Yes. Alright, noted, noted. Ah, uh, yeah, that's much better. 
so you're checking out my room? Yeah. Yeah, there's the approved thing on the back of it. I didn't check back in the cell. Anything in here? Aside from, you know, the shitter? Nope. Nothing's in the bathroom, so I wouldn't check it unless you want to waste time. I need to check something. Do Charlie's relationship with Joe. So I'm assuming oh. when it... What? So I still all have, have all the secrets I've collected from my playthrough. So I've still got everything. But I have So it's just milk. helping you so it's just helping it's just helping you find everything. So I've got all premonitions of uh, life and death. I've got all the secrets, all oh, the bearings. Oh, life and death meaning what you should and shouldn't do, even if they're vague. Yeah. So during the game, you're going to find paintings. And when you interact with the paintings, it will show you a brief moment into the future that could possibly happen. And from that, you're supposed to determine how to save yourself. You get um, premonitions of death and fortune. Fortune shows you something that will keep you alive, and death will show you a death that you can possibly fall into. All right. Oh, I'm trying to mess with the safe again. Wow, that's a really eerie sound trying to open it. And there's just blood spatter on the wall that I don't know if you can interact with because it's just, you know, blood splatter. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Wait for me, don't leave me alone. No, it's a I blocked door. Ship. I blocked door. You can't come in. Take oh, you <laughs> push me. You you push me anyways, it doesn't matter. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, I hate this. Oh, skill track. Welcome to my welcome to my least favorite fucking thing that ever happens in these games. All right. So, tap tap. Oh, I love this. I know, but sometimes it gets faster and my brain can't keep up with it. Boom, boom. Will he shoot us? Tell me he won't shoot us. No, he won't. He just gets freaked out and runs away. You failed? You clown? I didn't fail. It says you failed. How did I- f I didn't fail! I have perfect live stream footage of me hitting every single one, and they were all green. Okay, it must have been a glitch then, because I didn't fail either. It said that you did. <laughs> well, we, we didn't get shot or anything, so we didn't fail, so I guess we're fine. Uh, that's- can you open that door? No, nope, locked. Uh, let me try, because maybe there's a different interaction. I was gonna say, maybe I just- Pull a key out of the old prison pocket. I have a key, but I don't think it'll work on any of these doors. A key uh, for something that would make no what sense. The hell? What, what did I say? What the hell about? There was a child. Oh, that I didn't see anything. Yeah, because she wasn't with me. I accidentally activated it. I think I walked too bit too fast. I'm checking out these lockers real quick. Uh, another door here. Locked. Hey, Charlie, help! There's something you may have walked by, unless that was the door. We can go back, we can go back, I believe. Alright. <laughs> oh, shit! Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and then some. Do you know what Fubar means? <laughs> no. Fucked up beyond all re uh, repair. Oh, he, it looks like he got the gun turned on him. Let's try messing with the little stuff before we, we, we can't. Oh, son of a bit. You clown. Was that a secret too? Oh, what? Oh, damn it. Hang on. Let me, I can, I can look at my collection and tell you what it was. You clown. I'm assuming it was probably going to be like the first one. It was a gas mask instruction. Ah, uh, was it a secret? Uh, it appeared in secrets, 
um, a memo instructions so, uh, a memo instructing someone to issue gas masks to any soldiers working with chemicals in cargo there must have been a risk of gas leak within the cargo you idiot cat I'm fucking sorry, I forgot which doors work and which don't. I haven't played this game in a couple of months. How about we don't mess with doors? How about that? Okay, that's a good idea. We don't mess with doors until we've done everything. Good idea. Uh, God damn. body on the floor. Another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Wow, Shit. eyes roll back into the head. Berkeley. Last time I saw him, he was uh, I mean, let's check out. He was even for Stairs. I'm not gonna go down. But those are stairs. I'm assuming we're probably gonna need to go down, and there's also a danger sign there. Nothing this way. Nothing. I'll let you go first. Ah, oh, well, thank you for letting me go to certain death. I don't like this camera angle. It's spooky. I mean, I can't see anything. Like, me walking into that wall. Well, yeah, I already knew that. Uh, what's to the left here? Uh, a gate. Locked. Oh, and also, if you just hold the button after it makes you switch cameras, you just keep walking the way you were. That's noted. Because that usually throws me off. Because they'll try and make you readjust to where you're moving. No, thankfully nope. they're quite generous about that. I thought I was thought that was a paper on the wall. I guess not. I saw no glint. Uh, well, I see no glint, so I'm just gonna keep walking. Wait. Hey, Chuck. You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? I think you I think you got a little clocked in the head a little too hard. What is, is that some Onrio looking him at her? It was it's just like a child, yeah. Jesus. Take a gun, lad, take oh. I guess I get a boot knife. Even though, you Picks know, we were it. on the opposite sides of each other. You know, gotta move fast, get the good stuff. Screw you. I'm gonna stab you. Gonna get- This feels weird. The British ones picked up the gun and the Americans picked up the knife. <laughs> Our roles are incorrect. I think they wanted to break the stereotype for a second. Good on them. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, God. Ho, ho, ho. I like the fact I'm seeing something completely different from you. Wait, Joe. What what are you on the ground for? Dude, you're dead. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. You're telling me to hide. Charlie, you sh you fucking slit your throat. How are you talking? Uh you said hide, so I'm gonna go hide. Yeah, you're like laying on the ground, rasping. I'm assuming it looks like your throat got cut too. Uh, Are am I about to shoot up? A about to shoot a child? Uh. Oh, the the wisdom man. I stabbed him. You just I... fucking stabbed me! Oh, oh! I stabbed the wisdom guy, and that was apparently you. You stabbed me, you bastard! How was I supposed to know? <laughs> I okay. So, the the, the teller, the teller. Mayday. Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? What did I appear as the teller for you, or is that just me no, flat out stabbing you? you? No, you were a child, and you stabbed me! Fuck. You were my son! Jesus. What, was there a, was there a thing? 
for you to shoot me too. Yeah, I could have shot you in the fucking um, locker. And I guess if I did that, I would have killed you. <laughs> but you would have also died because I died too. Yeah. Oh god. Noted, if we see illusions, uh, let's not just kill them immediately. Can't believe you fucking you shanked me, bro. Hey, I did that. I finally <laughs> did what I said I was gonna do. I gave you the good old shankarooski. <laughs> you, you finally did it. You actually shanked me. I mean, I saw that I could, uh, he was red. Red means he's gonna kill me, so I just, you know, I did all shankarooski. I'm assuming if neither of us did nothing, we were both gonna die anyways. Yeah. There he is, the I curator. Just went out flying. I just went out just blazing. My question is, I wonder what would happen if we both did it at the exact same time. Ooh, that's a good question. I get a bullet wound, you get a stab wound? Probably. That's now. probably why my quick time event was so quick, because you stabbed me so quickly. Yeah, I mean, the guy was just standing there, so I was just like, oh, you stabbed. Yeah, I literally, like, I got the option to shoot you, but I only had it for, like, a split second, and then I got stabbed. <laughs> so it literally uh, was just, like, a quick time event to see who could kill the other first. gonna be a mind section game, alright. Uh, skip cutscene, skip cutscene, skip cutscene, no. I think he heard me getting impatient. Kind of watches that. It's a compass. I have a love-hate relationship with Curator because he will literally just berate you for killing people. Um, so he's probably gonna give me shit for shanking you? He's probably gonna give you shit for shanking me, yeah. <laughs> Hello. No, not that music! And welcome. Oh, he, he acknowledged the fact that I've played this game before. <laughs> He was he like, oh, lit... one of you's back. Yeah, he just lit three candles and didn't even acknowledge your existence. To me, he went, oh, one of you's back. It's always nice to see a trier. Just playing, you, you hear the music too? Yeah. The penguin music. I am the curator. curator. The curator of stories. Curator of stories story. of love and hate, greed and beauty. Life, Life and, and death. death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it, and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish, or whether they are... Extinguished. Snuffed out. Eh, yeah, same thing. <laughs> You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions, or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to so everyone. So I'm assuming that means some characters Still, will die regardless none of us want do. for it to come too soon. Um, Ooh. NPCs will always die. Playable characters are up you will to be you. Determining a story together, sometimes separately. What one does may not make complete sense to the other because we all have different perspectives. But as in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect each other. 
So we've got to be careful what we do. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. So I'm assuming it's not that means we got to do, we got to be... be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Yep, so sometimes we'll Here's be together, sometimes we'll be separated, and everything you do will affect each other. So it's like you pick up an object, features. I will not get it later on, and that could affect, like, whether I live or die at some point. So, like, if you get a vision of an object, and I pick up that object when you needed it, you'll fucking die. Decisions that result yep, so, like, if I got a picture and it says, oh, I pick up a weapon and That's I use it to defend moment. myself we'll and I get to there and if you've already we'll taken it the then that vision can come true but it will be a different perspective taken. and ending to it whatever mess you've made and considering the fact that we accidentally killed each other in the prologue because we saw things that we thought were enemies that can determine what happens next as well because we saw it from different perspectives so you could see someone as good and I could see someone as a threat Yep, yeah, and then depending on what we do will then affect how we work. You're Alex, I'm Brad. Alright, so I guess this should be the playthrough where we genuinely try to make sure that all of them are alive since we can actually communicate and I'm assuming there's going to be times where we have to do something at the exact same time. Yes, I will try my best to help you because I have played this game plenty of Wait, times, but... Brad, Alex's brother, innocent. So I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep, I'm going to try and keep him with those attributes, right? You can unlock secret attributes, which then can actually aid you later on in the story. Motivated. Alex's brother, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure. Oh, what, you little insecure baby man? You little insecure baby, 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 baby man? <laughs> That's you, the character you're playing. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. I'm being encouraging. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. Why did you pause? Oh. <laughs> I was looking at the relationship status. It said relationship. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, benevolent and arrogant. Those are secret traits. So if I take an additional trait, does it make me lose one? Uh, especially the the more you play the game, it'll affect how strong each of these personalities personality traits are. So like, I'm motivated, but the more I play the game, the, depending on how I play it, I could lose that motivated trait, and it will re be replaced with either arrogant or altruistic, which is one of the other personalities that I have on uh, that I have to unlock. But there is like a super secret one that you can unlock, and if you unlock that super secret um trait it unlocks a different path that you can take entirely so like, so like select certain choices that you either have to make by watching a video or just belligerent luck yeah so i think the character you're playing brad he has um the heroic trait which is a hidden trait and if he unlocks that he goes down an entirely different path to what he would normally go through and i'm assuming and that's Alex... a better path yeah, and Alex has, I think, is the comedic trait, and if I unlock that, then it takes him down a completely separate path as well. Where, where you just become a fucking comedian by the end of the game? Bro, I just become a fucking knobhead. <laughs> what, like knobhead as in good knobhead, or bad knobhead? Bad knobhead. Uh, I've become an absolute pillock. Just comedian, aka the bad kind. Alright, whenever you're ready. I hate the timer. Is there an option to get rid of that? No special treatment. Uh, no, yeah, unfortunately not. Exactly it's just to prepare each other just in case we have to start in the middle of action. Oh. Uh, Philippothan? Cool. Well. Oh. Cool, thanks man. Yeah, of course. You're my bro. I don't like the you fact know, that if you careful. hold it on it, it's that just like... like super expensive. Well, bro. It auto-picks cool. it what? after a two Julia seconds or so. Are, I don't like that. You know, how do I say? Mm. It? Super fucking loaded. So, so don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. No, you're an asshole. Sorry. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just. The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. 
Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't if I, if, I'm, if my ah, options are shitty, I'm gonna probably just you know say location. nothing. Yeah. No, yeah, I do that a lot. If I don't like the, if I don't like either option, I just say nothing because or it like, doesn't decrease or increase. I don't the know how spot on these ones are because sometimes the game will be like, "Oh, hey, you're gonna say this," and it's basically yeah, the exact well, opposite uh, of what you thought you were gonna say. No, thankfully with these games, what it tells you at the bottom of the screen is exactly what they say, so you don't have to worry about that. No, but or like, I don't like it when it doesn't give me the full thing of what they're gonna say because they want to know what they're gonna say. Because you know, yeah, fair, fair. But if you don't like the options, just say nothing. It won't harm you. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Bearing updated? Hey. Bearings that... are things that create... So anytime there's... If you tell them you make a big decision, it will affect the bearings. And bearings are the biggest st nodes in the story. Uh. So, proposal... Brad told Alex to follow his gut, so therefore that will affect what I do as Alex. Because you've made a big decision for me. Oh, I wasn't really even paying attention, whoopsie. I just said go with your gut, because nine times out of ten, that's what you should do. And no, I agree. But because you made such a big decision, now it has created a bearing, and that bearing will now affect the game. And I'm assuming when you're playing uh, single player, you'll get one character or the other, and you won't manage both. Yes. All right. And you just gotta hope that the NPC doesn't make just doesn't make it, you know, hella hard for you. Yep. Excited, Julia. Sixer, Alex's girlfriend. Reckless. Full hardy, Julia's brother, relaxed. I'm a feeling that I, trait's gonna change very I easily. I fucking hate Conrad. He is the biggest oh. prick in this entire Sorry. group. Connie, this is Alex. And I'm assuming if you're a prick back, hey, up, he's not Conrad. gonna bend. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. Just saying, I will attempt to kill Conrad. You're gonna have to stop me. <laughs> Look at all these fools still live for, to get the good hey, achievement, Broski. I know, but it is instinct so to try and get rid of him. Yeah. Uh, we can kill Brad one. later. Okay. 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 Yeah. Want to crack a cold one with me? Crack a cold one? Oh, sure, I guess. I get seasick, relax, or relax, apprehensive. I'm assuming if I say I get seasick, he's gonna give me shit. Yes, he will. He'll call you a coward. Uh, I want to be ready for the dive. TBH, I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. <gasps> My favorite character is coming. Oh, the this is a mind or heart choice. Nah, man, you you really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks. <laughs> Suit yourself. Yeah, he didn't like that response, but I want to make sure because I'm assuming if I'm drunk when I die, I'm gonna screw shit here up. Here she is. Here she is. Here she is. The right. love of my life. Here she is. It's patient, captain of the Duke of Milan. Courageous. I love, I love I'm assuming I love that her. you're probably going to be the one controlling her rather than me. Home, but, oh, uh, please, let me control Fliss. I love her so much. I'm going to get her killed. Screw you. Come on. On board and ready to go. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm assuming when she does courageous accents and she already has the, uh, the trait, she's going to do better than uh, anyone else. So yeah. <laughs> Dumbass. Bitch. <laughs> That probably would have been me too had I had taken the beer. Oh, this is the Milan, or are we going to the big boot boat? Uh, the the big boat from the prologue is called the Mal uh, is called the Orang of Milan, of Medan. Sorry. Ah. Let's see those hot oh, you're Conrad now. Oh, I am. Uh, not a whole lot. Just Something interesting. Something interesting. Ooh, what is this? Well, hot diggity dong. Look at this. Whoa, hot diggity dong! Alex! <laughs> said, what, hot diggity dong? I think we got something. 
Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, more of a more of a boat. Oh. Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, I wasn't done scrolling through all the pictures. No, you can pick it up later. Don't worry. Ah. Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so? So, the B-29 is a super fortress. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and... were just like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. Uh... Cliff, we found a plane. See, he yeah. doesn't seem that, that much of an like asshole. We are it get, he die. gets worse. Uh... Technically, we should call this in to If you get him drunk, he gets so worse. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Don't be an ass. Don't be an ass, cat. Uh, Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? Uh... Guys, look. I think we gotta listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, and... Beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, the right please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's it's what not... I was going for, baby. I'm just saying, God damn. Right now, because she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful, but that's like a coincidence. She's the captain. Look, we paid for Why this. Why did he dive. say that so weirdly. Generously, we're diving. The client. But if anything goes wrong. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Wait. Alex, I thought we were gonna... Uh... Oh! I, I apologize. Dude, I'm sorry. A medium, I'm bro. Medium, bro. Whatever, medium, man. bro. <laughs> Predictable. Could be in a simp. Should be ready to get no, because you told me to go with my gut instinct, I chose to go with Julia instead of Brad down into the depths. Look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Alex, do you really want this thing with Brad hanging over your head? Talk to him. Yeah, I'm gonna say sorry. I'm going home. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. Oh, yeah, I see the tablet now. Oh no, this isn't a tablet, this is binoculars. I'm assuming that if I look at the tablet, I'm probably gonna see something and be like, hey, Full... hey, hey, hey. Full name, Felicit Dubois. Oh, that's Force Felicity's name, full, na oh, sure. full name is. That's pretty neat. Yeah, doesn't look like anything interesting is out there. It's just a buoy. I'm pretty sure that's one of ours, anyways. Ah, oh, there's the iPad. Give me that. Alright, anything to be worrying about? I'm assuming there's not a whole lot I can be doing here. I'm gonna keep going this way. This is where all the good pictures are at. Dude, normally I'm looking over your shoulder at the images. Alright, yeah, me looking at it just gave me some dialogue. Yeah, all right, I looked through the entire tablet. Uh, anything in here? Oh, her. Yeah, uh, on this table here, you can Captain, find Fliss's um, ID badge. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Oh, At there's a painting in here. Respect, even if you're the only one in the group. Uh, below deck, there's a painting, painting you can look at. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. My sis can be a little, uh, intense. Deceitful? Yo, there are laws here. And customs. 
You gotta respect that. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? <laughs> Playful or assertive? Oh, I got experience. In all the oh my god, I no. I caught it. And I tossed it back. Yeah, I don't think she wants none. Easily, do you? I don't think she wants none. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. <laughs> Hotter when you're angry. You know, you're even more intoxicating when you're angry. <laughs> and I am ready to get wasted. You have literally never spoken to a woman before in your life, have you? No. Mm. It shows. <laughs> he said, nope, and it shows. Cunning and witty. Whatever we bring up, we'll go through it all together, and you'll tell me what I got. All right, tablet. Weather forecast. Wait, I turned Please it off. Please don't fondle machinery you are not equipped to understand. I accidentally turned it off. If you come down to the lower deck, you can find one of the paintings. Uh, you said there was an ID badge? Oh, I see it. Let's not exhaust every single option until we have, like, one option and we I mess with it at bogus. the same time. Uh, full name, C. Dubias, driver number, birthday... Eye color brown, hair color brown. Instruction to find the reader. South has the classes in the district by the Dive Master Federation. Alright. Tell me I'm... Okay, I was about to say, tell me you're putting it down and not keeping it. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to little man real quick, and then I'm gonna go talk to her. You should see a painting on the wall first, though. Oh, the painting on the wall. Oh, it's very glowy. Um... All right. Well, hello. What's this? Little man gets stuck in a room. Uh, that's not really much to work off with. It will not show you much. It literally only shows you into a glimpse of the future. And even the future could not happen. Like, that is just a possible future. Hey, Brad, how's it going? But you may see, like, Brad hiding underneath the bed, but... <laughs> Cheery or supportive. Brothers can be shits or here to help. You know what? Here to help. If you need a moderator, I'm here to help. My fee is also moderate. We're good, middleman. I wonder what the heck is down there. Uh, full of. I can be serious. I'm gonna try and be like, we shouldn't be fucking with this. I thing. guess there's a bunch of laws about leaving stuff untouched down there. Take only pictures, that whole shebang. I get Bliss has a rule. But man, it'd be cool as hell just to get my hands on some little relic from my first wreck. See, I feel like... I'm gonna say nothing. Have a great dive. Come back with lots of loot. And I'll get the BBQ fired up while you two are tooling around in the briny. I'm assuming that he's diving now. Uh, no, I, it's still me and Julia. You know, we have rules out here for cover. a reason. You guys got low locker. What you got inside of you? Shroud of Innocence. Interesting. What's this now? Fancy. Good on you, Alex. Uh, I just moved something. I moved some cologne and I'm reading a book. Wow, I, I hit the button and then he just put it back. Hang on a second, I need to look at something. Yeah, I, I now have the, instead of reckless, I have deceitful. Yep, so my um, personality traits now are now innocent, cunning, excited, and deceitful. My relationship with Comrade is neutral, Brad is maxed out in friendliness, Fliss is... Conrad didn't Neutral. like that. Brad did not have a beer with him. Eh, little shit. It's little shit. Let's be honest. Wait, proposal. Brad, Brad told Alex to follow his gut. Oh, so what? Were you locked out of the option? Yeah. So basically, because you told me to go with my gut, I instead of going with Brad, I chose to go with Julia instead. Hold it to view it. 
I mean, I'm assuming the perfume had nothing special on it then. I'm hoping. No, it, it's just like showing you little details about the characters. Oh, and then I'm not, I'm probably not going to be able to use it or anything. No. Um, you, if you eat and start things like this where like nothing's really happening, it'll like give you things like perfume to pick up to just like get used to the mechanics of having to do stuff like that. All right, I have this lady to talk to at last. So if you have someone you need hey to guys, talk to, I tanks advise. Tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Oh shit. Yo, Alex, help me out here. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Basically, I'm breathing my own air. Okay. okay. Yes. Check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. I'm assuming you're gonna say some shit. Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole. Oh, in the yeah, tail. this. Kaboom. This is what I found out. That's your way into the plane. Oh. Nice Thank work, you man. for that. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. God, you are so desperate. <laughs> Uh, alright, I'm not gonna- I'm gonna try to keep the horny down to a minimum. How's it going? <laughs> Are those two going in or what? Like, I know the weight is interminable, but soon... Soon it'll just be you and me. Out of the frying pan... Into the all water. Alright, kids! Good to go! Yeah, she li she likes the flirty, Jeff though. She no, likes it. Please. Cause they keep getting ups. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. I picked up a boomstick. Like an actual boomstick? No, uh, so I think it's called like a bang stick. You do it, you use it against sharks if they get too close to you. I'm assuming I get to watch you or something now, or I get to deal with shit up here. I think, I, I'm not sure because I haven't played it like this before, where I've got another person with me, so I'm guessing you stay on top and like watch over us or something. Yeah, I, dro I do drone duty or something, or I'm with her, or I am her. Oh, yeah, you probably end up being Julia or anything. Hey, remember, no touchy-touchy. We don't want to get cursed this early. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm touchy-touchy everything. Oh, that's a dead guy. He's trying to caress the camera. Oops, got barnacles on him. He's been there since World War II. <laughs> I'm surprised that his clothes are still intact then. Oh, I'm Fliss! <gasps> You're Fliss? Thank fuck, I'm Fliss! Oh, shark. I'm in the water. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, don't ruin my relationship now. Oh, if I want to tell him to fuck off! Okay, we're like, sure, why not? Hey, I already, did, I already did enough talkie-talkie up there to get a few likes, okay? All right, oh, I'll pretend I like Conrad. Is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. Yeah, this I don't know who I'm playing, though. Find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. You're playing Alex, Julie, you're playing the, uh, Bond girl. Hmm. The whiny bitch. The turret! We can get in through there. Yo. Oh. I don't think it's gonna give me a quick time event this early, is it? Uh, it depends on your actions in the boat. Oh, watch, watch out. Yep, oh, yeah, I almost punctured my CO2 can. I saw the little thingy and then I, it gave me a quick time prompt. Uh, ladies first? Yeah, you gotta be careful. Because there's like a very specific set of things that can get okay, Julia murdered say, very quickly. Oh, shit, I won't tell you exactly it. what they are, but just be careful with what I mean, you do. You what? I can't. I can't move. Oh, there we go. go she was go, talking. Go. So I'm assuming, like, really be on my toes then. Whew. 
Uh, I don't see any glittery stuff, so I'm just gonna keep moving. I don't have a boomstick either, and I saw a shark. Oh, eerie music, eerie music. Good God. Oh, a body. Um, let's mess with it. Yeah, Someone guy's dead, dead. Uh, he had an amulet in his hand. Yeah, let's let's just put that back. Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. All right, I didn't take it. Might we not want to spend too long down there because there's a thunderstorm coming. Uh, you hear that? Oh. Let's check it out. Alright, cool. I'm gonna just try and be fast about it. I'm trying to open something. Oh! Bearing updated. Wait, did you do something? Uh, let me check. Bearings. Speedboat. Alex took the boomstick on the dive. Oh, so... no! So... Uh, the boomstick only has one use? Yes. Oh, and I, there was a shark earlier. He just handed it to me, so I just figured it would be okay to use. This guy has a gun. It's rusty, though. Oh, oh, oh. oh. She's a fucking I eel. I went, my wife. <laughs> Life gives you lemons. Ew. Shit. Fucking A, not cool game. Pilot and co-pilot. I'm assuming the faster I get out, the the more the less likely I'm gonna get caught by that. I wouldn't touch the gun, maybe. Oh, I, I just got an achievement. What? Easy Congratulations, Fliss and Comrade are now in a now in a relationship. Uh, wait. It's giving me the option to move the boat. I'm I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not doing it. Because I feel like that's going to stir anything up. I feel like that's going to stir something I up. But I think it does contain a secret, but you can do as you wish. Ugh, fuck. Well, it looks like the only thing I can do anyway, so. Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! Yep. I, I think I had to touch it. Yeah, I had to touch it. I had no control over that one. Alright. Let's... GTFO. Oh, I guess I can't. He's holding something. Oh, no, I already messed with that. What are you looking at, bro? I, I'm confused as to what's going on. Alright, there we go. Now I can leave. He's still back there. Oh, what's this? A bullet? Yeah, it's a bullet. Secret found. Anti-aircraft shell. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Shit. Go for Julia. What's up? Okay, we're down here. Gonna explore. Over and out. Wait, what happened? I was trying to get in contact with you, so that might have been me. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. It's not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. Wait. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Oh. Yeah, I'm it not gonna do it. Dangerous. Yeah, there was an option for me to go into a tube without my rebreather. Oh, yeah, if you, it's... It can't kill you, but it... It's like dangerous later on. Like dangerous to do? Or dangerous No, effects? as in like, if, could oh. you take it off the rebreather, it causes you decompression sickness later on. Oh, that's what that was. The painting. I didn't see the painting till just now. And that's that looked like what that was. 
she was coughing up a storm. All right, I'm gonna try and make my way out. Oh shit! What? I can't make my way out. I've got people attacking me. <laughs> what do you mean attacking you? Well, no, driving towards me. Sorry. Uh, well, I just went back to check and I found some extra stuff. So. Oh, what what happened? Be careful. Wait, what? I was close to the back anyways. We gotta get out of here now. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I explored all I could. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Shark! Oh god, Alex! We used the boomstick to get in here. It's a great read, Shark. Not interested in us. Let's I'm go. not interested in us. Alright, I guess it doesn't matter. Hold on. Uh... Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. Oh, Conrad, you no fucking knobhead! Right Alex, uh, quit confessing. Oh. Quit confessing I underwater, you clown. Underwater, but my oh right no, now. Conrad's uh, being a dickhead Julia, and he's getting us in trouble. Will you marry me? Conrad, you I, fucking I, moron! I, oh crap! Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just, I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Loving, yes. Alex, wow, what a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. Why do I have a feeling this is about to end very bad? Alright, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Yes, yes, I'll marry you. It's like a trophy. Did they just take you away? Wait, Julia. You gotta decompress you. Oh, Conrad, what are you fucking doing? What? Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait! We have to decompress! I, I have to decompress, though. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh I'm assuming if I don't this decompress, I get torture. sick later. Just a few more seconds. You get the bends, okay, yeah. Now. Go, go! And I'm assuming if I would have done it the first time, it would have been more serious than the second time. Uh, well, I didn't want to get sick or anything. Oh, uh, it was just you starting the fire. What the hell happened? It was no, it was fucking cool, Conrad man. being a dick. Everything's all right now. What? He was doing dumb shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is Why do I feel you? like you're lying to me? I'm really not. <laughs> so, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, bearing, bearing, bearing. The bends. Uh, Julia waited to decompress before surfacing. Oh, I'm assuming that's a good thing, then. Yeah, so if you had refused to decompress, you could have, at a later point, got really sick and then <sighs> killed Julia. Ah, uh, alright, hold on. Give me a second. Oh, go for it. Oh, God.
All right, I'm back. Hold on, let me, I just wanna. Welcome back. I wanna check up on. Uh, how do I go back and check? Oh, never mind. Uh, generous, witty, selfish, and excited. How are you generous yet selfish at the same time? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My phone agrees with you. <laughs> I'm also I'm also assuming you can only have two attributes on one side, so you can't have cunning, generous, and witty, and then just one on the other side. You have to have two on each. Uh, no, it, it, it literally just depends on everything you do. So, for me, um, Fliss is witty, insecure, and relaxed, and it's all on her right side, and I've got excited on her left. Alex and Julia. Julia sided with Alex and wanted to fully decompress before surfing. Julia was cautious and wanted to de uh, wait to decompress. Julia said yes to the proposal. Julia agreed with Alex with the tube was too dangerous. Alex reassured Julia that they would dive together first, and Julia teased Alex for being romantic. So, a bunch of ups, basically. That's all that was. See, I did a good. I did a good, cat. You did a good. You did, you did, you did the good. I, I, I did quite a bit of goods. Excuse me for fucking Whoa, stuttering right, my ass. Done. Come up and let's celebrate. I'm assuming if he said no, he would try and cut the sh the the trip short. Oh, it's the uh, curator. Here. Yep. Here, just chill out. We'll sit. You're getting to know these said. intrepid adventurers, then. Alex yeah. and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Well, we got one person Both here. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Yep, he's arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Mm -hmm. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? No. Yes, you do. <laughs> Let me reassure you. Special feature you unlocked. Them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Hey, he didn't give me crap. No, because you haven't killed anyone yet. I mean, wouldn't he give you crap for making dumb decisions anyways? He does, but you have to make a really shit decision. Oh, like me so getting her sick? Like 10 seconds yeah. The jaws of certain death. Well, so if she had certain, I mean, not decompressed, he would have said something about it. This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, needless to say, uh, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? No wonder she... Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers either. after he helped Fliss? <laughs> Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, Did he drink all the beer? In the plane. Huh. Yes. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Conrad is an alcoholic. So, <laughs> Hopefully that bullet doesn't, doesn't come back to haunt us, Julia right? Smith. <laughs> really? I won't say anything. <laughs> sure. Honestly? I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Uh, sentimental or provocative? Now I'll do mind. mine. Oh, my bad. It's alright. It's really light to the touch on that button. Badge of the co-pilot from the B-29 plane, identifying his origin. Brad was correct. Oh yeah, two new paintings. Uh, it, we missed one? Because there's one in front of the high and dry and... Uh, no, it, it's... Oh, I swear, it... Fa oh! The order the is language. Done. Yeah, the the order of it is weird. Oh, I found secret forty nine. A shell on the wrecked B twenty nine found lodged in the plane. The wrecked B twenty nine was shot down. Oh, so I'm assuming that's info we can use later. Yes. All right. 
You don't have to wait on me to be to hit the ready button. I'm taking lessons. No, I was looking at something anyway, so. I was so worried you might say no. Aggressive or reassuring? You found a secret. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Oh my fucking god. Did you do something you dumb? No, I found Fliss and Conrad fucking in the closet. <laughs> Honestly, I would have preferred if you just wouldn't have. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> ha ha. Wait, you said Fliss oh. and Conrad? Yes. <laughs> God fucking <sighs> Maybe next time we should just do it to where, you know, we're not in a party together. Like next playthrough. Where did everyone go? I think it would be funny. There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Oh, they're not Man, happy you with you. See your faces. That is not nah, a cool thing to do. Because I said Alex died. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to. You know, I can see you in the background. Oh, yeah, the beers. <laughs> I was just getting. Out. I can see you watching me like a goblin. You found What's another on, secret. You keep finding this. secrets on my screen. Just getting them beers. I think it's because the fact that I've already played this game and they're already loaded into my character. You, every time I walk past one, like it's considered a secret. It says I found a secret. So what? There's secrets down there I need to get. Uh. Yeah, you can find something down right. there. I can't remember now exactly what it is. Here. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Perfect, man. Wow. What's this? Congratulations again, dude. Seriously. I'm really happy for you guys. I can't believe I what actually did it. Oh, the camera. Doesn't look damaged, so... I... Why do oh. you on the dot? Next. Uh, don't go hella far in a conversation because I still want to kind of explore. Wait. Go back. I can't go back on the picture. That's dumb. Never thought you were the settling type. Proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro. 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 I'm bro. <laughs> one, I'm not that sappy. Two, well, so I'm, I'm assuming something bad stuff. happens if everyone Over I play top, touches, bro. you know, the the pad that she says I'm not sorry to I touch. Sorry, I was a dick about the dive before. If I had known what you were gonna do, uh, don't worry about it. I am unsure because I've never actually tried to fuck with the iPad so, that she has. I mean, I guess we could do that next one then. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to look at the painting again with a different character, do I? No, it's always the same premonition. All right, just making sure. Oh yeah, the bullet. I can look at the bullet. Furthermore than what I already did. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure it holds so any value. Awesome. Oh, she just says it's awesome. I'm assuming that unlocked an interaction. Ah, hey, no, he came down here. Got the pad yet? Oh no. I, I tried to hold on for as long as I could, but unfortunately, I couldn't hold off for very much longer. I'm assuming I can look around a little bit more after then. I'm assuming you're gonna get a little agitated. Yeah, they eventually they'll get suspicious as to why we're down there for so long. Oh no. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. They'll get suspicious if they're like, hey, why you keep being, you know, so doing all this? And I'm assuming that's gonna play into like somebody's a spy or something. No, don't yeah, confirm eventually... that. Don't confirm that. Don't, don't, just, don't. I don't I'm just theorizing here. <laughs> I don't no wanna get it ruined. There. Okay. Right, oh, I'm, I'll refuse to further. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Em? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. I mean, I feel Maybe like the anyone would be a spy. You think Probably we can get there her. by tomorrow? It or takes Belandi. a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? We did find a bullet stuck in the fuselage, but that was about it. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge. Assuming there was the probably more I could have found had I gotten Kong into the tube. Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. 
called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. Spirits. I guess we gotta do a run where we don't pick then up what? anything as well. That would be interesting. Is that it? Really? The dead don't sleep well in these waters. May sound silly enough to you all, but I was Felicity's raised on this happy. shit, and it sticks. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. All right. I'm just gonna try and make up. Okay. Maybe. Good on you. you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Honestly, right. fair enough. You got a fun ghost story, right? Oh, you're playing him now. Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. I'm assuming Wait, if we're doing true story? it via... Do this? I'm assuming if we're doing it via mic, like when the characters are talking, I'm assuming we probably wouldn't be able to hear each other. Yeah, I think in cutscenes we probably can't hear each other. I'm not quite sure, like I said, this is like the first time I played it with another person. Like, in this setting type of thing. So, what do the bars mean? Because I know Alex... My bar for Alex is high, but the grey one below it is lower. So, the grey line is where the relate so the lines are relationships with each character. The grey line is where the relationship is, like, at its most neutral, where it is, like, when they first meet each other. And the white line is your current relationship with the person. It's like for for Alex and Brad, it is maxed out because we have been perfectly nice to each other and we've constantly agreed. So therefore, our usual relationship has increased beyond what it originally was supposed to be. But with Fliss, we're not on her good side, so we pissed her off and therefore our relationship is lower than it should be. So, but with her, with Julia and Fliss, the relationship is higher. So I'm assuming if we keep it at neutral, like, all round, try our best to keep neutral, then we get, like, some super secret ass ending. Yeah, so depending on, like, relationships with each character, it can change things. So, like, say, um, like, for instance, if uh, Brad and Alex suddenly hated each other, if later on Brad needed Alex's help, Alex could refuse to help Brad, and therefore that becomes detriment detrimental to Brad's health. So, like, he needs to get saved or he needs a bandage and he refuses to get a bandage for him and he ends up getting himself hurt again in the process. Yeah, so, like, say, like, because we've, we've currently got a really good relationship between Fliss and Conrad, Conrad is more likely to help Fliss than anyone else, but if we made them hate each other, say, like, Conrad needed help, Fliss could, They would could, he like, rather help anyone else than them. Yeah. All right. So, I was just making sure, because Con so Conrad and Julia are mid- with each other but i'm yes. assuming that's because you know they're like brother and stuff yeah all right just wanted to be sure no yeah i'm happy to help explain anything you need me to explain <laughs> as your resident expert mm -hmm. if you need to know it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine i was perusing on our way here the lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. I, I want to keep my relationship with him neutral. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, 
That isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? That's a good question. I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Embellish the facts? You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Huh. With her all along. Husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees... Thunder. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so ah, gross. Terrible. Hey, old super twist. Wow, nice. he looked hella dead. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Or is that just me? No, I saw that too. You have me going. It's pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before He's hitting He's 100% possessed. What regulations possessed. are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. He's 100% haunted. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not confirming or denying now. It's sleepy time. Bro just starts walking around with the bullet in his hand. The Duke of Milan. Madan. Madan. Oh, uh, I'm that, that. Oh. <gasps> oh, I'm Conrad. Oh, no. Premonition. premonition. I'm Conrad. No. Uh, I'm assuming had we had not gone down and touched anything, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, but this has nothing to do with you touching stuff in the plane. I can confirm that for you. Uh, get, get out of here. Uh-oh. I punched him in the face, and now he has a gun on my face. I don't think- I don't think he liked that very much. I thought I could hopefully knock him out, but I guess not. Yeah, I um, attacked the dude that attacked me, and I've smashed a bottle over his head. <laughs> yeah, I punched Very the British. guy. I, Very I British. Very British of me. <laughs> I punched my guy. I glassed mine. I guess maybe next time we shouldn't punch him? I guess. Probably best we don't to start attacking people at random. I think we should have learned from that, from the uh, thing that happened. Mm. I don't think they uh, understand that there's one other guy. Yeah, they haven't found Brad. Uh, I'll ungag you. It's gonna hurt like hell, though. I mean, then again, he was closer. Uh, I'll ungag you. You're right next to me. It's the only logical choice. I mean, really, that's the only logical choice. Uh, I feel like she's gonna stream. 
All on gag fliss. Best to have two people in this conversation. Yeah, I mean, really, it's easier to go for the person that are right next to you compared to the people that are furthest away. Yeah, agreed. I just feel like that's smart. Oh, I feel like if we spend too much time ungagging people, they're gonna come back. Alright, we should start talking immediately. Yep, I called it. You can see where I've fucking hit this guy over the head with a bo glass bottle. I'm assuming that us doing that is gonna be loud and wake him up. Almost free. Possibly. Or maybe we can make a plan to jump him or something. Our hands are tied though. Hey, so, uh, yeah, but body tackle. Bad news? I don't see how this point. Worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, of course oh, it is. Conrad. Great. Just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Best to get everyone untied. Get free right now. Better to untie than talk at this point. I think maybe um oh. Un gagging everyone was good. Mm, agreed. He's gonna try and jump him. Yep. Surf's up, surf's up. I think it's good that we're putting the hurt on him now. Mm. See you in a bit, my boy. <laughs> so then we can focus on him last and then get the healthy ones. Or at least get him down first and then we have time to focus on the healthy ones. Mm. Yeah, well, the guy that attacked us is the guy that I glassed earlier, so he's already injured from what I've done to him, so it's probably easy to take him out first. Yep, because now he's been kicked on the leg solid. I feel like What's you're going to get crap kicked in now. Yep. I'm watching it happen. Be honest. Oh, Julia. You're beating the piss out of Comrade. We gotta get out of here. The perfume. Use it and spray it on him. Ah, oh, but they don't notice I moved it. Who gives a fuck? I'm gonna kill every one of them. We can't just blindly attack them. We need a plan that can take them all out at once. We need to get free. First things first. Well, oh, they're gonna kill you. Oh, shh. Slow down. Easy. Don't do anything. Yeah, listen, to the, listen to the dude named Danny. Don't do I anything say, rash. I'll, I'll, I'll say nothing, say nothing. Bag? What is this gonna do? Yes. Always pack Always a good pack cuticle, cuticle clipper. <laughs> it's gonna unbind me now. Come on. I'm being brung back. I'm being brung back, so be careful. Right. Coming back. Huh? What, because you weren't being a shitter? Yeah, my hands are untied now. Yeah, because I refuse to say anything, so they're bringing me back now. I feel like if I untie your hands, you're gonna do something rash. Oh Jesus, Conrad! But you're a guy, so you do more damage than her being untied. No offense. Wait, wait, no! Oh, uh, no! she's gone anyways. It doesn't matter. You no! <laughs> bastards! All right, get his hands immediately. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. Hey, I don't like when you talk to me like that. Dollars to donuts, it'll be Fliss and Julia breaking heads. Not the other way around. Fliss and Julia, not us. Alright, focus on them then. Buddy, buddy with them. Did you 
see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. I, I just all right. trying to better their relationship. Right. Really good. Yeah, yep. I, I won't see. cause you any problems. It's better that douchebag be on nice. everybody's side aside from so the we enemies. Can back. Maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. He's the one who's coming in and, and out, so if we, we can get the jump on him. Motherfuckers! Julia, tell me what happened. Love birds. Our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They're gonna hold us touch. What? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, he, you know I'm gonna have to get that shit back. I think it's probably on Big Man as well. Definitely on Big Man. The thing is with Big Man is he's blind in one eye, so I guess we've got that advantage. Yeah. Lessened sense in one area, heightened sense in another, so he probably has better hearing or reflexes. True, good point. I should know that myself as a blind person. <laughs> eight miles away. That's how far the storm is. Storm's eight miles away. I know that trick. I've known that trick since I was a wee lad. Yeah, my dad taught me that one. School taught me that one. He's got a gun. The main guy's got a gun. Right. Enthusiastic, confident. If we play our cards right. We can catch him by surprise. Take him out. But be logical, though. If you can distract them, I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> gotta time it right. It sounds like we're getting closer and closer. I'll, um... Here, I'll climb out this window. Take a look around. Scope it out. You guys distract them, so they don't see me sneaking. Okay, let's do it. So when you see the thunders, when you count. One, two, two three, four, five, six. You had to smash it on six. I did, I did smash it on six. Shit, she's an idiot. Ah, uh, the perfume bottle I got out earlier. Oh fuck! Okay, this is on me. Here. There we go. He's already hurt. It's good. Oh, quick time for the net. What did you do? I stabbed him in the neck. Oh, you fucked up! I was sneaking and you You're got sorry. me caught. I don't want to hurt you. Stay back. Well, yeah, but she handed me the cuticle cutters. I've got one of them by the by with the knife. I've got one of them with the knife. I'm carrying one as well. Why was she quiet? Think about what you're doing, boy. Finish this or instant. Get to the boat. Get out. Go. This kid's trying to kill me, also. Wait, what? I'm, I'm going to escape. I'm not taking the gun. It's a trick. I'm going. Cunning. I mean, he could have shot you already. Oh, quick time event. Uh, attack! Before he shoots you! And I'm getting him. Well, I bought you time. No, I bought you time oh. for what I could. Thank you. Okay. okay. Comrade escaped. We can't catch him with this old junker. Right, so Comrade's gonna get help. Bring them downstairs. Alright. Yeah, I attacked him because I feel like. You have to. 
Alright, he handed one of them the gun. Yeah, he handed the guy we've been shitting on the gun. Sit down. Julia didn't like the fact I didn't shield her, Over though. There. I do, but I do appreciate you attacking Sit. him because that stopped him from no. gunning me down, so thank you. Yeah, that was the only logical Arrêtez choice. Mon Stop! They're French. Yeah, they're, they're in the Caribbean. A French Caribbean. I think they're in the Caribbean. I think this is. Oh, oh the coordinates. Come here. Oh shit. They were they were gonna dive where we were diving. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian gold? Manchurian gold. I'm assuming that we're gonna swap characters here in a minute. Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> Catastrophe is Flitz, and I'm Alex. Oh. So oh, yeah, Chris. we have one guy out of the equation now. Yeah, Comrade's not coming back for a while. Conrad can handle himself. Connie can take care of himself. Alright! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. Plus is what? Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. I think we should probably shut Captain up. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Oh, I almost missed that. Sit I put my controller down. You, come with me. Thankfully, I'm like half decent at quick time events because of how many of these games I've played. <laughs> talk to him or talk to her? No. And talking to you. Oh, so I can rat to the Coast Guard if I wanted to, but it could Just put me at risk. Please. Should I do that? Take the gun off of us. It's making everybody nervous, and nervous people do stupid things. You don't want blood on your hands, do you? Going on. Uh, should I rat to them that we're currently under attack, or should I not? I, I don't know. I got know. the Coast Guard. Oh, yeah, God. rat, rat. Julia, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, but it seems very possible nothing else is. I, I'm gonna Thank I'm gonna you. Stall this guy. What do you want? I know things just got out of hand for you guys. We're all in the same boat. I mean, this can't be normal for you either, right? I'm not looking to hurt nobody. We just, they, they money. want money. But now, my brother's got his eyes on that gold. I ran to the Coast Guard, but it's got me injured. <sighs> she just smacked. Oh, frying pan! I just had to dodge a frying pan at a suitcase. Big guy saw you. Do it. Yeah, I. He caught me right the arse end of it, but the Coast Guard knows I'm being attacked. All right, we're moving out. Oh no, we're not. I come to help. I'm helping her right now. She just fell on the ground. He's telling us to get out. Wait, the guy I'm playing as the heroic trait or the nerdy guy? Move it! Uh, Alex got the heroic no. trait. Yeah, I just got Brad's, a heroic action thing. Brad's still down there and it's flooding. Oh, wait, he is? Brad's still down there and it's flooding. Shit! What happened? So you chose to say nothing? 
Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. Oh, I think us calling him out was a bad idea. Oh, but it's better than him drowning, though. No, because he was going to wake up. True. Fuck. Oh, the big ship. It's the Medan. Didn't all this stuff just go down not too long ago before we got out here? No, that was a plane. No. The, the death and crap. Oh no, that Sorry, was a long time you, ago. That's a long time ago. That, that body's all gone and rotten. Yeah, well, the, 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 that happened during World War II, so about 70 years ago. Ah. Uh, sorry, I'm a little just. I'm poor. <laughs> Me know no history. Everyone's still alive. Yep. Things could have been quite different. Yep. <sighs> think out of anyone, Conrad's gonna live. I don't think he's happy with us. He does get a bit antsy when you keep him alive because you appear to have saved somebody. A oh. move that paid off. Yeah, me this time. pushing. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out. Uh, hold on.
Catastrophe. Yo. All right, so food's gonna be ready soon, but since it saves like every second, I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, really, it shouldn't give us prep here, cause you know, nothing's. Mm. I know, but it's it's weird. Just let it be. Hearted <laughs> creature, I am. I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. I'll take it. Tempted. <sighs> Before he starts, uh, it's not going to be like a, an exact clue. He's going to read you a quote from a book. So if it's confusing you, just let me know. All right. Oh, wait. How does this affect our relationship with him? It won't affect our relationship with him unless we... So there's a really fun thing you can do with the curator, where if I say yes and you say no, constantly, it pisses him off more and more and more. Oh, uh, well, so what, he... if, if we say yes regardless, he'll still say it, even if someone says no? No, so basically, if you say, yeah, I want the, want the hint, and I say, no, I don't want the hint, it then cancels each other out, and then he'll go, okay, I'll ask you one more time, do you want the hint? And we do it again, he'll start getting angrier at you. And eventually he'll just say, no, fuck you, I'm not going to give you the hint then. And he'll just leave you. Alright, let's do it once. I'll pick yes, you pick no. Alright, get ready. Hold it in the right direction. Okay. You're in agreement. Clue it is. What I, I said, Merchant I'll say Venice, yes, you say no. Two, scene seven. The Prince I didn't of have Morocco enough time. <laughs> pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significance, just because it glistens, distress, maybe I shouldn't touch it. I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but not here's quite. The thing. But I'm on the right track. May not be you're on the right track, yeah. It seems. <laughs> Bra has a book with a flask. What's the special feature? Probably shouldn't have said that. Haven't said what? The hint? Or what the yeah, last so, thing you said was? Uh, in the context of the, uh, the curator, he's constantly under watch of some unknown entity, but he constantly gives you hints that he's not supposed to, so he kind of constantly jokes about it. All that glistens is not gold. Often that you are told. Maybe, maybe he's telling me not to take something. Well, remember what we're after. What these guys are after. Gold. So if I see gold, don't yuck with it. Yes. Cause I mean, if I saw gold, I was probably gonna be like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna take this. What is that? It's a, distri a distri distributor cap. It's what makes the boat work. Go. They've right. taken it so they can't escape. And we're gonna have to find it somehow. Yes. Wow. That or maybe that's just because of the bar. But like, it looked like her feet had rust on them. Did you see that shit? Probably from all the rust on the boat. <laughs> Anitus, here I come. Jesus. Let's go get tetanus. Yeah. Oh, isn't this like the place we died at? Yeah, this is the, the boat from the prologue. Oh, no, I was thinking of like the area. Oh, wait, I'm playing the girl. The one you like. Yeah, and I'm playing as Julia. I'm assuming they don't want us to mess around, so probably keep looking at stuff to a minimum. Yeah, so if I pick this up right here, they're gonna smack it out of my hand. Wait, wait, there was something in the sink? So if you're running, do the do the glimpses are the glimpses are lessened? Um it makes it harder to see them, yeah. Because they don't appear as quickly. Did you try to pick the thing up? 
Yeah, also, um, don't turn around because they'll start pushing you around and then that pisses them off. What did you try and grab? Uh, there was a clipboard. I tried to pick it up to read it and he smacked it out of my hand. Uh. Hand. 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 Uh, you, okay. The Mask of Madness. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Through that door. What door? This, this door. I don't, I don't, it's not, what the f Oh, my depth perception. <laughs> oh, the cross, the cross, remember the cross? Yeah, I know what religion is. No, the, 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 tele <laughs> the, te the telegrapher, you clown. Oh, wait, wait, Yeah, wait, wait, I know, wait. I was fucking with move, it. Move, move. Oh, damn it, you, you messed with it. Now. Was there anything interesting? Um, it's a uniform. Yeah, nothing important then. Wait, secret maybe? No. Nah. nah, probably not then. Actually, did I check that locker there? Nothing. Alright, never mind. Alright. I'm just gonna get a move on. Alright. Oh, Shut up! What, did he cut himself? No, he yelled, keep moving. No, that guy- oh, Ah, damn. Ah, I didn't hear that pop. The guy next to the lockers. Oh, where am I? Oh, there I am. Wait. You missed something. A card. Uh, internal... Monogram. 14th Division Army. We're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conveniently, it's always when the guard he has guard duties in Hall 3A. First, it's... Oh! Secret! Again, this is the third time this week. None of us like it down here. Maybe Patterson should buck up. Just get on it. Oh, I took it! Yeah, don't worry. I've already got the secret, so it doesn't bother me. Watson! You're in part to see! Okay. All of you. Into the room. Wow. Oh. oh, it's a cutscene. I can't move. I don't feel like this is enough content to end it. But then again, I feel like it would be dumb to be like, oh hey, let me have a 30 minute pause. Hey, it's piss black in here. Give us the light. Oh. Flashlight. Thanks. Watch the battery die. <laughs> Yet again, I put down my controller. Was <laughs> oh, it a quick time event? Yep. I don't <laughs> know why that would be a quick time event. Really fun either, but you know, what, gaming will be gaming. My finger. What the hell is this fucking place? Just burn to death. Uh, foreboding. It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Anyone else creep the fuck out by this ship? Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold? Guess it's a possibility. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. I don't like the erratic head movements they do. It's unnecessary sometimes. Conrad went to get us help. We should wait for him. We need to call the Coast Guard, but the Duke's radio is shot. Oh, crap. Ah. One second. Damn it. Well, um. I guess this is stream for now until I start it back up.